Hey guys, good morning. How's it going? Just waking up, having some coffee. It's nice and chilly today. Not a pretty good day for doing projects, but it's nice out. I like it. I like the fall weather. I don't know about you guys, but it's fun. Today I'm not going to be really doing much. Just to be doing some running around. I'm going to be thinking of uh, installing that guy onto uh, Lana there. A little bike rack. Probably gonna have to go into uh, to the city today, pick up some uh, tires for the boat, because uh, I've been putting it off and it's just getting colder and it's gonna start snowing soon and can't have the boat out when it's snowing. We gotta put it in storage, you know? I don't know if you guys own boats or not, but that's what you gotta do. So, I'll slowly start my day here. But yeah. So here we got the boat. <sighs> what a just a pain in the butt. I'm trying to get these tires here. I'm trying to get these tires here. As you can see, they're pretty pretty worn down. But uh, these tires, these uh, UTGs. As they're called, like in 14 and a half by 8 LTs, really, really hard to get, and they're old as fuck. And I don't know. Take a look. This old piece of shit. I think I might just change the whole hub out. It's probably be a little easier than dealing with this shit. And these ones are pretty, they're all cracks and shit. They're never gonna make it up north. Hmm. Well, I've been working on the boat here and I got the cap off and oh yeah, that's nice. Nice and uh, muddy. That's what it looks like when grease mixes with mud. Oh yeah. These bearings are gonna be fucking just great. Mm hmm. Alright, I'm working away on this mess here. I'm trying to get this cotter pin out. Mm -hmm. What a disaster. Mm hmm. Absolute disaster. The cotter pin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This nut's just loose too. That's great. Let's see if this will work. Oh, just too small. find something else. This boy here, 36, oh, she won't even fit. Piss. It's okay, I guess we're gonna have to take it off the old school way. Let me just turn this nut. Then we're going to have a spacer. That doesn't look good at all. All the muck. Must have pulled this through a swamp. Oh, 
At least the spindle itself doesn't look bad. But definitely gonna have to get some uh, fresh grease and some uh, brake clean. Let's smash this with some brake clean. Bunch of mud in there. Not good at all. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to change out this whole hub. Hmm. Look at this. Just fucking loaded with mud. Holy shit. Ugh. How do you get this much mud in a hub? It blows my mind. It's crazy. Well, off to Princess Auto it is. So, we're off to Princess Auto. See if we can wrangle us up some new hubs for that, uh, that boat there. Such a pain in the butt. One thing I will say is if you're ever buying used equipment, whether it be boat, trailer for towing stuff, excavation, landscaping, whatever. Always take a look at how much the cost is gonna be for maintaining that trailer. If it's an older trailer, like what I have, getting parts for it, which I'm obviously having a hard time because everywhere I go, these UTC tires, you can get them, but they're 200 bucks, 250, $300 each. And for a set of four, you can see that gets pretty expensive pretty quick. But it is what it is, so always keep that in mind when you're doing stuff. All the little extra add-ons, even if you get a really good deal like I did, at the end of the day, you're going to be spending more money. But it all depends on if you can do it yourself or not. Me, myself, I can do it because I have the know-how. But if you're buying something like that, you're going to be like, oh, it's a great deal. But at the end of the day, you're going to get it home and be like, oh, it needs this, it needs that, it needs that. And you're going to be spending twice as much money than when you would have been just going out and getting a more expensive boat or a trailer or whatever it is because of the style, the year, the kind of trailer it is. Hmm. Going to Princess Auto with no help. I got myself a new hitch. It looks pretty good. But this thing, man, oh my god, it's such a headache. What else do I get? Got some grease, a couple other things. Oh, whatever. Continues. Alright, so Princess Auto is useless. They really didn't have any hubs that I need, or at least the sizes I need. I need at least a six lug, 6,000 pound axle, which is crazy. But, uh, we're gonna try and see if we can, uh, either change those hubs to a six lug original conventional style or maybe cleaning those up and finding another set of rims and tires I don't know this is uh, tricky business here but uh, we'll find we'll figure it out make it work Alright guys, we're back here now. We got the tires from up north. Got the hubs and everything. I'm throwing them on here. I'm going to clean these up a little bit. And then uh, hopefully they're going to fit. And uh, hopefully they're going to fit.
can see. <sighs> Look at that. Muck. That's bad grease. Alright, so you gotta clean all that shit off. Thankfully, the wind's finally died down. Holy fuck. Get all that old grease off there, it's all waterlogged. See where the bearings ride? See right there that little little groove? See how it's a different color? It's a little bit more shiny metal. And then back here, right in the, the, the lip there. Wipe off the nut too, it's pretty pretty dirty. A little bit of that debris can get into the bearings again. I don't feel like changing this again. Make sure it's still dry. 
windy as hell. Holy fuck, guys, it's fucking windy out here. Fucking shit blowing all over the place. But uh, yeah, that's how to change your wheel hubs. The only thing I didn't include in that video was uh, putting the hub, the little caps back on. It's pretty straightforward. You just line them up as straight as you can and hammer them on there. I, I suggest using a rubber mallet, but you can use a hammer too. Just don't, don't whack it too hard. Other than that, make sure while the wheel's up in the air still, you give it a shake uh, side to side and top and bottom. Make sure there's no play. If there's a little play, you can tighten the nut up a bit more. Just make sure it spins freely. If you tighten the nut all the way down and it's still wobbling, then you might have a worn out uh, hub assembly, like the actual assembly itself. Some of them come with new inserts, so you can just put new inserts on the hub assembly itself, but some of them, I think the one I have, it, the whole hub would have to be changed. But uh, it's not a hard job either. Like you can, I, I think they're like bolt-on style or, or weld-on style, or you can just change the entire axle out. It's honestly, it's not that hard. But yeah, if you guys got any questions, comments, leave them down below. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like the videos, and uh, have a great day.